morning, Patriots. I'm Hilda. And I'm Jess, and welcome back to another episode of BTV. If you're interested in joining the production of the State Fair musical, auditions will be December 29th and 30th. If you want more information regarding the audition, stop by room 319 to pick up a packet. Also, don't forget, tonight and Saturday, theater's production of the Children's Hour will be playing in the pack at 7 p.m. Tickets at the door are $8 with ASB and $10 without. Speaking of the play, check out this trailer to see what it's all about. Fair bomb, um, fair boss, fair bamus, fair, um, fair batis, fair, um, fair bont. Helen, what are you doing? Nothing, Miss Mortar. Miss Mortar, Mary just walked in. Well, young lady, where have you been? You were supposed to read Anthony. Where have you been? I went for a walk. Enough! You'll be sorry you did that. I'm scared they'll do dreadful things to me. You deserve to be punished. It's after what happened today. Mary, you're annoying me very much. If you have anything to say, then say it. And stop acting silly. Okay, but I can't say it out loud. What are you saying? I don't believe you know what you're saying, Mary. Are you telling me the truth? Joseph, can you come see me right away? It has to do with the school. There's something wrong with the school? No, what are you talking about? Well, I just got off the phone with Miss Tilford and she seemed pretty upset. I'll be coming back soon. Karen, I am so sorry. It's all my fault. I know it wasn't true. I found out it wasn't true. Somebody else is like to you. Wow, looks like theater's really been putting in a lot of work. Now to Eden with sports. What's up, Patriots? Not much sports news this week because we are in between seasons, but a huge congrats to girls tennis as they won CIF Division II championships with a crushing score of 14 to 4. Winter preseason begins after we get back from Thanksgiving break. Looking forward to a great season for all of our winter sports. Before I let you go, let's take a look back at the fall season with a senior golfer. I started playing golf um, when I was in freshman year. I have been around golf all my life, but I didn't start competitively playing until a freshman. And I was on JV golf as a freshman, and then sophomore through senior year, I was on varsity. I love golf because I feel like it's a metaphor for life. There's always gonna be good holes and bad holes, but in the end, one bad hole won't determine your entire round or your entire score, just like how life throws obstacles and it won't determine whether you succeed or you don't succeed. It's also something I can play for my entire life, which makes me excited because it's opened me up to new people and new experiences. My dad is my supporter because he helps keep me determined to practice. He also helps me with my mental game and with managing my tournaments and my schedule. I'm gonna miss the people on the golf team and the competition that we got to share together. One of Olivia's strengths has always been her ability to talk to and work with her teammates. And so I would say that uh, probably her biggest contribution as a leader of the team is just sort of being a positive uh, influence on other girls. Uh, golf is a very individual sport, so trying to turn it into a team sport can be challenging if you don't have individuals that are very sort of positive and welcoming uh, to their teammates. And so I'd say that's probably her the, the biggest way she contributed uh, to the team. Um, these last few years. My teammates helped me get better because they always pushed me to be the best golfer I could be. We had putting competitions every practice and it was a really fun way to get better at putting. Mr. Blair has been my coach for the past three years. He's helped me become a more calm golfer, push through hard times, and he's always dealt with me as being a loud personality on the team. I really thank him for keeping me motivated to keep playing and he's definitely helped me with improving my game as a person. Golf can get kind of frustrating and so it's easy to get down on yourself mentally, um, but she generally stays pretty positive no matter what happens. 
and again, it helps her if she's struggling about back. Right now, I'm not committed to any certain college, but I do intend to keep playing as for fun or as a walk-on. I'm not really sure where I want to take golf, but I'm excited for where it could take me. Awesome job, Olivia. Before going off to break, let's see what Beckman students are most thankful for this year. What's up, guys? I'm Andrew. And I'm Jillian. And Thanksgiving's a really forgotten holiday, so we decided to spread, you know, a little more Thanksgiving cheer. Because of that, we decided to bring in three students to talk about what teachers are thankful for. But what they didn't know is that those teachers were listening in to them the whole time. Let's get started. My teacher is Mr. Gonzalez, my calculus AB teacher. I love every single teacher I've had here at Beckman High School, but two really stand out in my mind, and that's Mr. Chow and Mr. McGill. Every day I walk in class, he talks to me about football. Probably tells me, like, you know, did I hurt anyone or, like, did I take someone to the ground? I'm like, yeah, I did. Mr. McGill, his way of teaching is, like, he makes the class such a, like, such a comforting experience. He's such a personal and amiable guy. He inspired me to be a math teacher. I want to be a campus teacher one day because of Mr. Gonzalez. You know, Mr. Chow, he's a fireball of energy. Just absolute power, energy, and just excitement every single day. I kind of want to try his teaching method. I think it's kind of, we just let the students figure it out on their own, and they'll eventually figure it out over trial and error. I feel like it just, it works. It works perfectly fine. People think it's insane. I think it's awesome. Thank you for everything. You know, the past four years with Mr. Chow have, ju have just been like a great time. I mean, he's helped me through a lot. So thank you so much, Mr. Chow. For Mr. McGill, the same for you. I mean, these guys both wrote my love recommendations and they've helped me get to where I am this far. So thank you so much. Mr. Gonzalez, you're an awesome teacher. You inspired me to be an app teacher. You inspired me to take things from a different perspective. And I think that's really cool. Oh, Mr. Gonzalez! <laughs> Oh my God, it's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. I heard everything that you were saying. I really appreciate it. I think you're it's like genuine and sincere. No, you're number one. You're number one. We're just listening. <laughs> it was chat. Come on. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you. What's up, man? Handshake here. It's my Chick fil A hookup right here, by the way. The love is mutual. Yes. Oh. Students first. Right, that's what, teachers first. Remember, that's why you have to cut the noodles. That's why you have to cut the noodles. Well, you're forgetting. It's an interesting dynamic. <laughs> yes. You guys rock. Yeah, you guys are rock. Thank you. Here. That's all of that. Too kind, too kind. Too kind, too kind. Thank you. Hey, group hug, come on, let's break it in. Thank you, thank Thanks, you. Tommy. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. What a great way to start break. Well, we hope you enjoy a restful and well deserved week off. I'm Jess. And I'm Hilda. Signing, signing off. off.